Hello everybody, it's Last Raider, and oh my god, this is why you do not hand mentally challenged people power. Mentally challenged people that have chips on their shoulders and causing most of their problems, power. Alright? Look, I'm sorry. You're running around telling everybody that you're transgender. I kind of look at that as, or you're trying to throw out your sexuality to a group of people that normally do not care about sexuality. Okay? Whatever. I don't care who you fuck. I don't care. But here's the thing. If you run around and start declaring who you're fucking all the time, just be prepared for somebody to say something cross to you. All right? That being said, you have a person here that I'm willing to bet has been bullied about the decisions they've made in their life. Their decisions, mind you. And Twitch has decided to hand them power. And how do they handle it? Horribly. All right? They're, just, just listen. Are you shitting me? So, if I'm hanging in there, and uh, I'm not going anywhere, I have power. They can't take it away from me. And honestly, I have power. It's not authority. It is power. Authority can be taken away. Power is something that you, you, you have and you can use and you can abuse. Authority can be taken away if you abuse it. And as, as I've said, we're not going anywhere. Now, what do you think they're going to do with this power? Oh, they're going to make Twitch a better place? Uh, oh, you know, I'm, I'm going to help my, my fellow person out. I'm, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to try and make it to where it will be a nice, peaceful place. No, listen to what they're going to do. You know, I, the, the, these, there, there are some people that should be afraid of me, um, and that they are, because I, I represent, uh, moderation and diversity. And no, you, mu you represent Puritanism and censorship. And already, this already, Frochley Steph is saying they've got a list. They already know people. Everyone who's speaking up about this right now, Steph is just making a list. These are the people that they're going to go after as soon as everything is kicked off and they've got all their authority set together. Okay? This is not, I've been, I've been bestowed responsibility and I will use it accordingly. This is not great power and, and it's a great responsibility that I've been given. This is, I have a gun and I'm going to go shoot everybody that I hate. That's exact. this is where we're going. This is a, I can put people ahead in the guillotine, anyone I want. So I'm going to find the people that I don't like and I'm going to get rid of them. This is how every SJW operates, okay? If they don't like what you're doing, they will do everything they can to shut you up, to remove you from society. Uh, it's, it's sort of like, what is the stick figure meme? Where these people are sitting over there and they, they ostracize all the other colors. You've got this rainbow of different peoples. And they ostracize the little white stick men. And they say, we don't want you to be part of this. And they're like, okay, we're going to make our own space for just us because you don't want us in your society. And then they come back and they're like, this is problematic. Okay, you, you've already ostracized these people. They go make, they go make something. So the truth of the matter is they just want people they hate to die. Anyone they disagree with, they want them dead and gone. This has been seen with Richard Myers. It's been seen with Peter Smetty, Ethan Van Skyver. Uh, it's been seen with members of Gamergate. You've seen uh, Anita Sarkeesian and uh, Zoe Quinn go to the United Nations asking for censorship. And everyone's like, do you realize what you are asking for? That if the United Nations had this power back before the women's rights movement, there would be no women's rights movement. What it is, is you're afraid of what other people are saying and you don't have a, an argument against it. So therefore, you want to shut them up so you're the only person talking. Ferociously, Steph is going to go into Twitter and get basically what they believe is righteous vengeance. When in reality, their job is to be responsible and try to make Twitch a better place. And I've often said this before. 
freedom. Freedom is something that every company should just stand by. Because if you stand as a pure free speech platform and some other company comes in and says, well, we're doing this. This is how I would handle it. I would go on Twitter and I would dictate this one company is now adopting anti-free, anti-civil rights policies by asking us to censor the speech of other individuals. Our company does not abide by this because we believe that every voice has merit. We are happy to refuse this company coming on because they are anti-American, they are anti-freedom, and they are anti-liberty. They would prefer people be mindless drones buying their products than free-thinking individuals. And that's how I would handle it. Uh, this nonsense of trying to... And it's, it's one of the things I tell people a lot of times in video games, you know. In video games, the games that are really, really popular are the ones that give you a lot of freedom. Okay? Right, First-person shooters are fun because you are tactically free to do what you want in it, and they're exciting. But you want to see the games that people sink the most hours into collectively? Look at survival sims. Look at open world games like Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto has the highest rated number of sales of almost any game of all time. Why? Because in Grand Theft Auto, if I want to go over there and screw with a bunch of people on my hydrojet, I can do it. If I want to fly around in a savage and start blowing stuff up. If I want to attack an objective or do something in the game and I have the ability to use my Kanjali tank, I'm going to abuse the Kanjali tank to the hilt, all right? That's just how it's going to go down. And this freedom allows platforms to flourish. Twitch was a freer platform than YouTube. That's how Twitch became popular. YouTube began censorship, and Twitch was not censorship. You could get on Twitch, be a gamer, and just be a gamer. It was for gamers. It was just a, t a platform for the gamers, supposed to be by the gamers. And now it's become corporate Twitch, just like it's now corporate tube. And the problem with it being corporate tube and corporate Twitch is when they go that route, it's not the people that make the, make the platform great making decisions. It's the people that want to make it safe that make make these uh condition that are making the decisions it's kind of like monica geller when they're talking when they're doing the, when they're playing like i think it's monopoly or something and monica says monica kind of instills all of sjwism in one sentence she says she says we need rules so we can rules make it fun rules make it so that we can control the fun and that's what it's ultimately about it's about control. And ferociously, Steph, I think that's why they've been put here. They've been put here so that Twitch has a shield so they can go in. And they're just going to be a blunt instrument. This is just a club. There's no intellect whatsoever. It's, well, this person is against marginalized people, Steph. Steph goes over and bans them. Oh, well, all of Twitch rises up against it. Well, Steph is a transgender. What are y'all going to, and, and believes they're a furry and they're mentally challenged. You're going to go after them for what they've done. We put them in there to try and help with this situation. It's like I said before, this is just a blunt instrument to remove people that Twitch, their corporate Twitch, believes is wrong for the platform. Give it five years and people will be complaining about draconian rules on Twitch. Twitch will start going from creator to anti-creator. We've seen it with YouTube. We're seeing it with Twitch. Be prepared, Twitch streamers. You are about to be the villain of the platform. I'm just saying. This is where it went with YouTube. This is where it's going with Twitch. And nobody is learning from it. Twitch made a lot of its money. In fact, Twi the thing that bugs me about this is I don't even think Twitch puts up commercials. Twitch makes most of its money off stream chat, which means you don't need a bunch of big wigs and corporations and ad companies coming in and broadcasting onto your site. Now, you could do this in the opens page, and you, you can easily subvert this by simply putting up a page 
and putting up people and say, and just putting on there saying, our advertisers are advertising for your benefit to get products that you need. They in no way encompass the views of anyone on Twitch. That's all it would take. It's not they're supporting it. You give those companies an out. And then they've got no reason to come in and manipulate your platform and change it. But this here is the wrong way to do it. Okay? Put up a marginalized person. It is almost like Goblin Slayer. Okay? There's there's a video I'm going to do eventually about the Goblins Goblin Slayer. As soon as I can find the fucking picture. I need a picture. Uh, YouTube. I need a Twitter. I need a picture of the chicks on the shields in Goblin Slayer. I cannot find it, and I do not have the software to get it. I, anything I get has to be off the internet, and I, I have to download the picture itself or get it off Twitter. So if somebody could put that on Twitter and tag me in it so that I can get it, I've got a video coming up on what SJWs are, and it's going to be offensive to feminists. It's going to be offensive to SJWs. It's going to be offensive to every single Puritan, censorizing motherfucking feminazi that's ever run their ass on, that's ever scraped their ass across someone's hobby. But as I said, this nonsense here, you don't give a person who is mentally, obviously mentally, cannot handle the power. Already, they're going on a power trip. And not even privately. They're going on a power trip publicly. They are publicly going on a power trip because they know they're not going to be touched. They believe they are invincible. And short of a direct lawsuit from another streamer, I don't know how you solve it. You have to make Steph vulnerable. And as I said, unless a streamer comes out there and levels a direct lawsuit against her, which the moment they do that, Twitch is going to come in and ban them for trying to harass and go after one of their trust and safety people. So you have to, it's your Twitch. It's, it's the same thing when the British came to the United States. When you're watching the movie The Patriot and the guy goes, they, if they support the rebellion, they shall lose their homes. That's what you're being, it's, it's sort of like also in the Sons of Liberty where same where John Hancock is saying they're trying to make people decide between their livelihoods, their homes, and their, their wealth and defying the British Empire. And had they not already taken my home and my wealth, I would have probably joined them. This is the problem you're having with Twitch. It's the problem you have in any other hobby. It is these morons come in, they... Set up a position of authority. You've already got an SJW in influence, and they're going to go through, destroy everyone who is not an SJW. You don't even have to be conservative. You don't have to be a Trump supporter. You just have to disagree. You just have to come in. I promise you, this is all it's going to take. Point out to Steph that she's a male deer. That will be enough. I I mean, just say, you know, uh, Steph, you need to probably put some deer ears on. Instead of antlers, because you look like a male deer. Bad! There it comes. I'm a baby! Benhamer! Whack, 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 whack. Your channel is gone. That's what's happening right now. Anyway, folks. <clears throat> thank you for your attention on this video. Uh, it really helps my uh, channel out a lot. Leave me a comment on how you feel about this uh, particular situation. Do you like it? Do you not like it? I would love to know. And uh, as usual, if you're new to the channel... Please remember to subscribe, uh, hit the bell for notifications. That'll tell you what's going on. Also, check me out on Twitter. And uh, as always, folks, keep your head on a swivel, stay frosty, and I'll see you guys in the next video.